Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Welcome to SBRForum.com on a Thursday. In this video, we're going to take a look at three NHL games from the card, and we're going to give you some quick thoughts and some quick picks. Let's start off with the Los Angeles Kings and Winnipeg Jets now here. Depending on where you get the line, you get the Kings from a mild to medium favorite. Um, I see about minus 115 to minus 120 according to my lines. It's probably going to go up significantly after the news broke on Wednesday that the Kings acquired Marin Gabrick and the Winnipeg Jets did nothing at the trade deadline. Really, I think that's the story here. Kings are basically playing like one of the hottest teams in the NHL right now. The Jets are playing well too, but this is a team that sort of takes care of business. You know, they don't play great against the elite teams, even under Paul Maurice, but they take care uh, of the 500 and worse category, and uh, you know, they, they win the games that they're supposed to win. Here they're at home hosting a Kings team that's pretty awesome right now, uh, and I'm going to roll with the Kings as all the momentum's on their side. I also think just the mental uh, edge that the Kings get, you know, they boosted their front lines at the trade deadline. The Jets are trying to get a playoff spot, and they stood pat. I think mentally that hurts them, and I think the Kings are kind of going to come in with quite the spark. I think the same story is evident here with Montreal and Phoenix. Uh, that's a game that's on later on on Thursday. You know, you got a Phoenix Coyotes team that's dropped four or five, and you got a Montreal Canadiens team that's coming to town as an underdog. And the Habs actually, in my estimation, made one of the biggest moves on trade deadline day on Wednesday, crime Thomas Vanek. I think that's a good move that's going to boost them. You know, this is a team that has pretty much everything set on defense and goaltending. Really, offense is what holds them back. Vanek should give them a boost in that regard. And I think this team is going to be pretty jacked up to play um, with him on the in the lineup on Thursday night. And I think they're worth a play as an underdog here. Last up, I like St. Louis. Again, you know, you take a look at teams making moves at the deadline. The Blues got the jump early, got Ryan Miller. They've won two straight with him so far. Um, they're going to Nashville. Nashville's a team that got Pekka Rene back, but I think there's more flaws on this team than just missing him. This is a team that pretty much sucks other than him. Um, and, I, and you take a look at this series. The Blues have won seven of the last eight in this series, and those seven wins averaging 3.9 goals per game. I'll tell you what, if the Blues get to uh, average 3.9 in, in uh, going forward, if they score three or more or close to four, uh, I guess I would say between three and four, I don't know what I'm saying. If the Blues get to three goals or more, they're probably winning. Uh, as confusing as that sounds, the, the stat there just shows that they scored a healthy clip against Nashville. I think that's important because Nashville is typically a stingy defensive team, so the Blues have no issues with them, and I think that's why they get the job done here. That's it for our picks right here on Thursday. Make sure you click over to our other videos on the site. We got a preview of the Washington and Boston game. Make sure you check that out before you go to your sports book and make some of these picks count. Thanks for watching.